I've had this project idea for a while now about a group of Stormcast Eternals called the Coastal Knights. Unfortunately for me being a slow painter, I decided to paint them up white. So what that means is now I gotta figure out a quick and easy way to paint up white armour. Stay tuned. Bright colours have always seemed like a scary choice to paint with. It always seems the easier choice is to go with the darker or grimier look. The clean yellow of the Imperial Fists and the bright blue of the Seraphon all look great, partly because of their bright colour scheme. But the bright white of the white scars have always stood out to me. Painting an army white has never really been on the table for me. It simply looked like it was too hard to pull off. But is it? With the only roadblock being me, I said fuck it, let's just try and figure out a way to paint these guys up quick and easy in white armour. But what's the army made up of? Well it just so happens that the army is made up of the exact same models that come in this set. What a coincidence. Starting off with the primer, I use grey primer from Halfords because it works really well and is really cheap for the size of the can. For the base white, I'm going with a spray of Wraithbone. I think it was Korax white I tried before and it was just too white if that makes any sense. So I gave Wraithbone a go and as long as I have a nice even coverage, it seems like the right colour to go with. After that, I set off to get the base colours down on everything else. This made the cleanup part much easier later on. I wanted blue as one of the main colours with the white because of the lore of the coastal knights. Once ready I went with a 1 to 2 mix of apothecary white and lamin medium. With the apothecary white tin down it let me apply two layers to certain parts if they needed it. On some of the earlier models I went with just pure apothecary white. One model I even went with two layers on it and while the results weren't disastrous it was turning into a light grey rather than a white. Happy with the shading, next it was time to brighten the armour back up and this is where I usually start overthinking things. I searched through my pants looking for a paler coloured and red bone and what I found was pallid witch flesh. I glazed two layers on the flat areas and just a normal edge highlight on the edges did the job. I did consider using red bone at first but it just didn't seem right once I practiced on one of the other models. With that, the armour and most of the army is done. I wanted to see if I could find a quick and easy way to paint white on an army and I did just that. Someday I might just try a single miniature and see if I can take it to the next level. But for now, I'm happy how the army looks. They're not finished yet. There are some still key parts left to do like the Griffhound, Yandrasa's wings and some of the weapons blades. I did paint some of the blades but I think I can push myself just a little bit further and really try something different to make them stand out for the hero models. <laughs> 